Hello everybody, this is Richard Slay and I want to show you a, this is a sneak preview of my latest brainstorm, which is something I've been trying to figure out for a while. And that is a way to use the circle of fifths as a very precise tool for harmonica players. Now, here is what this thing does you take the key of the song and put it here and that's always first position in other words if the song is in the key of C the C harmonica in first position gives you the key of C now as you go around here it shows you second position that means key of F harmonica plays in the key of C a B flat harmonica plays in the, C, the key of C in third position. An E flat harmonica plays in the key of C in fourth position. An A flat harmonica gives you the key of C in fifth position. A G harmonica gives you the key of C in twelfth position. And a D harmonica gives you the key of C in 11th position. Now, a lot of people have talked about playing in other positions, but when you're at a gig and you're trying to figure out what your alternatives are, it's really hard to do from memory and other solutions that people, including me, have come up with over the years is to do something like create a chart. But here's the problem with a chart. It's kind of like staring at the periodic table of the elements. There's so much in front of your face that unless you grab a ruler or something and isolate areas, you, you just, it's, it's a headache. And this is only six positions. If I made this chart for all 12 positions, then it would be twice as more than twice as complicated because you're adding so many more variables. So, um, back to this. The beauty of this solution is it isolates only the information you need to answer the question, if I'm playing in the key of C, what are my options for playing in other positions? What other, you know, what other keys play in what position? And, you know, for example, we'll just take the key of C. If I'm playing in second position, I'm going to take a song, uh, Georgia. Okay, now, first position. Okay, I explore the harmonica. In the top octave, I've got some bends. Okay, that's first position. If I play in second position, F harmonica. Okay, I'm missing a note there unless I put it in with an overblow. And I don't like, I really don't like the way it sounds. And uh, this harmonic is not set up for it. So, okay, so much for that. Ah, third position. It just doesn't work very well because it's got a built-in flat third. Fourth, fifth, nah, I don't think so. Twelfth position? <laughs> yeah, it's got some possibilities. There's some nice spin. Now, 
here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to play 11th position, and I'm going to do it on a low D harmonica. some really juicy bends in 11th position for this particular song. This is an example of the kind of um, woodshedding and just exploration you can do when it's easy to find your options. So that's what this does. Now, if I'm playing in the key of E, for example, the C harmonica gives me fifth position. And C harmonica also gives me second position for G major. So if you have a song that's got G major chords and E minor chords, fifth position is pretty cool. Or using the C harmonica to play in fifth and second. So there's a lot of different ways you can explore this when it's easy. If you've got one of these in your gig bag and the, the, the band leader calls out a song in, uh, in B and you don't have a complete set of harmonicas, you can look at what harps you do have and see what your options are. And if you've done your wood shedding, uh, you might be able to play in some more off-the-wall position because you're, you're prepared. So that's this side of it. Now, the other side of it is an instant scale degree finder, and it also isolates information relevant to one key or root position. And in this case, here is the key of E flat, and it's right here it shows you your 1, 4, and 5. So if you use those, that would show you the 1, 4, 5 chord in E flat. E flat, A flat, and B flat. And here are the notes of the E flat scale. E flat, 2, F, 3rd degree, G, 4th degree, A flat, 5th degree, B flat, 6th degree, C, and 7th degree, D. I'm going to make one minor tweak on these uh, with the printer, which is to just add in small type under the D flat a C sharp, under the A flat a G sharp, D sharp, and a, and a sharp under E flat and B flat. It'll just make it a little bit one step easier. It's kind of like a slide rule for figuring out this kind of stuff. You can you can work out all sorts of problems. This also gives you instant um, if you're going from one key. Let's say the chart is in C and you want to play it in B flat. You can use this to make that transition. You just write down these scale degree numbers next to your chords and then when you go to B flat, you can work it out from there. Uh, it's more really than I can go into in any kind of depth, but you get the idea. So what I want to do with this is put this... Uh, here's a, a sample of uh, the next stage of uh, printer's proofs that I got. It's got rounded corners, some other refinements. And when I get this done, uh, which will be within the next couple of weeks. I'll, I'll have the first round of of, um, of these cards available. I'm going to um, sell them through this pre-buy, and I'm also going to include a five-week course on different ways you can use this to learn practical music theory for the harmonica. So that's the basic idea is uh, this is made of uh, good sturdy plastic with a, a, a rivet in the middle. It uh, printed plastic. It will hold up forever in your gig box. And it's small enough that it will fit in whatever you carry your harmonicas in. And you can use this 
to uh, find harps at a gig or a jam session or at home when you're wood shedding. And you can use the other side to work out various musical ideas and teach yourself music theory by doing things. You can use this to play notes on a piano or your harmonica. You also get um, a series of scale degree charts for the different positions so you can look at them and find various scale degrees as well as you know, just regular note charts for the different key harmonicas. And you know you'll you'll get the uh, you'll get the card in the mail. You'll get the other uh, materials as PDF downloads in the mail. So there you go. Instant harmonica, instant harp position finder, and instant scale degree finder. A two-sided slide roll for the harmonica geek. Okay, I'll wrap it up here by saying um, if you want to check it out, it's in my store, and you'll see a link below. Thank you very much.